given problem in the problem resistance r is given and capacitance c is given resistance r equals to 100 ohms capacitance c equals to 200 microfarads which is equals to 200 multiplied by 10 power minus 6 l is inductance l is given equals to 0 0.05 henry's are connected in series and the given voltage vrms equals to 230 volts frequency is 50 h first you need to find out the value of he is asking to find out the value of current current formula i equals to v by z since we don't know the value of z by using the formula z equals to r plus j xl minus xse where xl is called inductive reactance xl equals to omega l and omega equals to 2 pi f by using the formula omega equals to 2 pi f first we need to find omega then xl similarly xc equals to 1 by omega c by using omega we will find out the xc next with the help of formula z equals to r plus j xl minus xc j xl minus j xc we need to find out the value of impedance in polar as well as in rectangular as well as in polar form then the value of current i equals to v by z by writing z in polar form we can find out the value of current voltage across resistor is given by v r equals to i multiplied by r voltage across inductor is given by i multiplied by xl voltage across capacity is given by i multiplied by xc and the current once you are finding current we are having i equals to v by z then the angle that angle is called phase angle and the power factor equals to cos of the power factor equals to cos phi and we can by solving the by using these formulas we can solve the above problem and by solving the problem as AC through series RC circuit. Consider an RC series circuit consisting of a resistor R and a capacitor C excited by a sinusoidal already voltage V equals to Vm sin omega t. As shown in figure. Now for the circuit shown in figure by applying KVL we have V equals to VR plus VC where VR equals to voltage drop across the resistor which is equals to IR and VC equals to voltage drop across the capacitor equals to I xc where i is the 
RMS value of current while taking current as reference the voltage drop VR will be in phase with the current and voltage drop VC will be lagging current by 90 degrees therefore the phase diagram is as shown in figure from the phase diagram we have V V equals to VR plus VC is the phasor sum not arithmetic sum so V square equals to VR square plus VC square therefore IR whole square plus IXC whole square you can write V equals to I into Z where Z equals to under root of R square plus XC square R square plus XC square now Z we can write it as Z equals to R minus JXC this is a in complex form which is called rectangular form now if you are finding in terms of polar form magnitude z equals to under root of r square plus x square and phase angle phi is given by phi e, tan phi equals to tan inverse of x c by r from the impedance triangle as shown in the instantaneous value of current i is given by i equals to i m sin omega t plus pi where i m equals to v m by z and the average power p equals to product of average power p is the product of voltage and current by considering the voltage equation v equals to v m sin omega t and current i equals to i m sin omega t plus pi if you are multiplying these two we will get the power equation as v m into i m by 2 sin omega t multiplied by sin omega t plus pi by using the formula 2 sin a sin b equals to cos a minus b minus of cos a plus b by solving the equation we will get power equation p equals to vm i m by 2 cos pi minus vm i m by 2 cos 2 omega t plus pi since the average value of cos 2 omega t over a supply half cycle is 0 as shown in the second term from the power second term this its value is zero so the total power p equals to vm into im by 2 cos pi which is equals to vi cos phi ac through series rlc circuit consider an rlc series circuit consisting of resistors r in series with inductance l and capacitance C connected in series to a, a an alternating supply volt supply voltage of V equals to Vm sin omega t the capacitance is in farads whereas inductance is in Henry's and resistance is in ohms as shown in figure according to the voltage law voltage V equals to sum of three voltage drops VR VL and VC where VR is the voltage drop across resistor and VL is the voltage drop across inductor and VC is the voltage drop across the capacitor and V is the supply voltage VR 
equals to i into r vl equals to i into xl and vc equals to i into xc by drawing the phase diagram taking current as the reference by considering current as the reference we can conclude that voltage v equals to vr plus vl minus vc from phase diagram v square equals to vr square plus vl minus vc whole square from that equation the value of z equals to under root of r square plus xl minus xc whole square r square plus xl minus xc whole square based on the value of xl and xc the phase diagram may differ if in case one if xl is greater than xc if xl is greater than xc then xl minus xc is positive in case one in that condition inductive reactance xl is more than xc therefore the circuit is behaves like a series rl circuit and the z z equals to r plus x where x is the but x xl minus xc the phase difference phi equals to tan inverse of xl minus xc by r and the power p equals to vi cos phi and power factor cos phi is lagging in this case one let us in case two xl is less than xc or xc is greater than xl in this condition the value of capacitive reactance xc is more than inductive reactance xl therefore the circuit is behaves like a capacitive circuit and the current is leads by voltage and current leads the voltage in this case x equals to xc minus xl and the value of z equals to r square z equals to under root of r square plus xc minus xl whole square and the phase angle phi equals to tan inverse of xc minus xl by r in in this case the power factor cos phi is leading and power p equals to vi cos phi in case 3 if xl is equals to xc the inductive reactance is equals to capacitive reactance and the net reactance is the difference between two reactants is xc minus xl is zero and the circuit is behaves like a pure resistive circuit in this case the power p equals to vi whereas cos phi equals to 1 or phi equals to 0 now for the given waveform we need to find out form factor and peak factor for the square waveform now in the given waveform the maximum value in positive of cycle is v not and negative wave of cycle is minus v not and the time taken to complete full cycle is t capital t now the time period equals to capital t while we are calculating the average value we need to find only for half cycle since the given wave form is alternating wave form the average value of a alternating wave form over a full cycle is zero so we need to find out 
the average value for the given square wave form we need to find only for half cycle therefore the time period we need to consider is t by 2 the actual time period is t only the time taken to complete full cycle but given waveform is alternative waveform if you are finding for alternative waveform the average value over a full cycle will be zero why because positive and negative will be cancelled and resultant value will be zero so we will consider only for half cycle now while you are finding for half cycle we have to consider time period equals to t by 2 now the average value formula for average value is f of t f average equals to 1 by t integral 0 to t f of t dt now since we are finding average value over a half cycle the v average equals to 1 by t by 2 integral 0 to t by 2 v naught dt which is equals to v average equals to 2 by t integral 0 to t by 2 v naught dt we can take v naught we can bring v naught outside and we can do integration of dt is t with limits 0 to capital t by 2 then by substituting the limits we will get uh, average value v average equals to v naught and coming to rms value the formula for rms value is v rms is equals to f rms equals to 1 by t under root of 1 by t until 0 to t f of, f of t whole square into dt f rms equals to under root 1 by t into 0 to t f of t whole square dt since we are giving a voltage vrms equals to under root of 1 by t integral 0 to see the function f of t the function v v of t is varying from 0 to t by 2 its value is plus v naught from t by 2 to t its value is minus v naught since for rms value we will consider only for full cycle only now the rms value vrms equals to under root of 1 by t into 0 to t by 2 v naught square dt plus from plus integral t by 2 to t minus v naught whole square into dt therefore the value will be under root of 1 by t into 0 to t by v rms equals to v naught we need to find out the value of form factor and peak factor we need to find the values of form factor and peak factor the formula for form factor is rms value by average value since the rms value what we obtained is v naught and the average value is also v naught therefore form factor equals to 1 for the given square wave form peak factor peak value is defined as the ratio of maximum value to the rms value since the maximum value of a wave for given wave form is v naught in positive of cycle and the rms value is also what we obtained is also v naught therefore the peak factor equals to maximum by rms therefore peak factor also equals to one sinusoidal current waveform as shown in figure we can write the function i of t equals to i m sin omega t where omega t, omega t is the axis now we can find the average value the formula for average value equals to f average equals to 1 by t integral 0 to t f of t dt since the given waveform is al alternating waveform the average value of alternative waveform is zero so we need to find the average value of for sinusoidal current waveform over a half cycle therefore we can consider a time period the given waveform is having a time period of 2 pi for half cycle the time period is pi i equals to im sin omega t 
the average value formula for average value is f of f average equals to 1 by t into 0 to t f of t dt as since the given waveform is an already waveform the average value of a already waveform over a half cycle is 0 so we can find the average value over a half cycle therefore the time period to complete the half cycle is pi therefore the limits are from 0 to pi i average equals to 1 by pi into 0 to pi sin omega t d omega t now by integrating i am i am i can bring this common which is i am by pi integral 0 to pi sin omega t d integration of sin omega t is minus cos omega t again by taking minus common minus i m by pi integral 0 to pi sorry minus i m by pi cos cos omega t with limits of 0 to pi by substituting the limits we will get 2 i m by pi which is equal to 0 0.637 i m this is the average value of an already waveform the rms value is nothing but root mean square value root mean square value of a already waveform is given by 1 by under root of 1 by t into 0 to t f of t whole square dt 1 by time period is 2 pi integral 0 to 2 pi sin im square sin square omega t dt since the integration of sin square t can be solved with the help of trigonometric function sin square omega t can be written as 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 and by separating terms 1 minus cos by, by writing the 1 minus cos 2 omega t as 1 by 2 minus cos 2 omega by 2 we can find the value of rms value hence by solving the equation we can obtain i rms is equal to i m by root 2 the r connected system is one in which three phase voltages are equal in magnitude but displaced by 120 degrees to one another and the load that is connected to the system is also a balanced by considering the three phase voltages v r n equals to v m sin omega t v y n equals to v m sin omega t minus 120 and v b n equals to v m sin omega t minus 240 r v b n equals to v m sin omega t plus 120 the three phase voltages are displaced by 120 degrees as shown in the phase diagram by considering the by considering the two phases r phase and y phase we can write v r n v r y equals to v r n minus v y n as shown in figure since the phase voltages VRN, VYN and VBN having it displaced by 120 degrees but the magnitude is constant therefore VRN equals to VYN equals to VBN equals to V phase and the currents phase currents IRN equals to IYN equals to IBN equals to I phase similarly the line voltages are called VRY it is the voltage between two phases VRY equals to VYB equals to VBR equals to VL and the line currents are IR IY IB and 
I L I magnitude wise I R equals to I Y equals to I B and by the observation itself the current flowing in the phase winding I R N is equals to I R at the same time I R N equals to I R and I Y N equals to I Y and I B N equals to I B therefore I L is equals to I phase by writing the by, by considering the equation V R Y equals to V R N minus V Y N we can draw the phase diagram and by considering the parallelogram by considering parallelogram law we can derive the value of V R Y which is equals to under root of V R N square plus V Y N square plus 2 V R N V Y N cos 60 by solving this equation we can find V R Y is equals to root 3 times V phase therefore V L is equals to root 3 V phase V L is equals to root 3 V phase and I L is equals to I phase in case of 3 phase balanced circuit and the power P equals to 3 V phase I phase cos phi from that we can derive power P equals to root 3 V L I L cos phi this is the expression for power in the given problem resistance R is given R equals to 30 ohms and capacitance C equals to 200 microfarads are connected in series across a 230 volts therefore V is equal V RMS voltage V equals to 230 volts and frequency F equals to 50 hz first of all we need to find out the value of XC XC means in capacitive reactance XC equals to 1 by omega c where omega equals to 2 pi f therefore since the frequency is given we need to find out the omega if you substitute omega omega equals to 2 pi into 50 which is equals to 314.15 and we will find out the value of xc xc equals to 1 by omega c 1 by 314 point multiplied by 314 multiplied by 200 microfarads 200 multiplied by 10 power minus 6 then you are able to find out the value of xc then we need to find the value of z the, the once you are finding the value of xc xc equals to 15.31 now by considering the xc we can find the value of z z equals to r minus j xc r is resistance is 30 ohms xc is 15.31 30 minus j 15.31 is the value of impedance and by converting this rectangular form to polar form we can find in terms of r at an angle of theta how how to convert this rectangular form to polar form you can observe in the in our channel
for the given problem the time taken to complete the cycle is t now if you write the function of i of t from the slope from 0 0 to t comma i m if you find by using y equals to mx plus mx where m is a slope we can find the value of i of t equals to capital i m multiplied by small t by capital d this is the function of the for the given waveform varies with the time period of from 0 to capital t the average value f average equals to 1 by t integral 0 to t f of t dt i average equals to 1 by t integral 0 to t i am into small t by capital t dt we can bring the denominator capital t to outside then we can write i average equals to 1 by t square integral 0 to t i am into t small t dt therefore you can bring that i am also to outside we can write i average equals to i am by t square integral 0 to capital t small t dt derivation of small t is equals to small t dt is t square by 2 with the limits of 0 to t therefore i average equals to i am by capital t square into t square over 2 minus upper limit minus lower limit therefore i average equals to i am by t square into t square by 2 i average equals to i am by 2 come into the rms value root mean square value i r m is equals to under root of 1 by t into 0 root t i of t whole square dt this is the function i of t equals to i am into small t by capital t whole square into dt we can bring that i am square to into by to outside then we can write i r m is equals to under root of i m square by t cube in derivative of 0 to t small t square dt in derivation of small t square is t cube by 3 from this expression by substitution limits 0 to t capital t we can find i r m is equals to under root of i m square by 3 which is equals to i r m is equals to i m by root 3 by substituting the values of average value and rms value we can find the value of form factor and peak factor where is form factor equals to rms value by average value rms value is i m by root 3 and average value is i m by 2 and from that the value is 2 by root 3 the peak factor equals to max value by rms value max value is i m rms value is i m by root 3 therefore the peak factor equals to root 3 we can find root 3 thank you for watching please subscribe share and comment if you like